Hey beautiful souls, how are you? Calista here with our weekly Ascension update. And it is a bit of a, a bleak day here in Scotland, but nevertheless, the birds are singing. And the river here in Blairgowrie has got a beautiful energy to it today. So I thought we'll share the Ascension update here and we'll bring in the energy of the water beings and the birds. So how are you doing? How are you doing, friends? What to talk about today? Circumventing, coming out of all matrix experiences and what that means. If you've came to some of my essential workshops, I've talked a little bit about this before, how there's different paths open and available to us that we can consciously choose or we're unconsciously choosing to experience this reality. And there's so much that I want to share that's coming forward. So I'm just asking my guides to bring it forward in a very succinct way, because there's a lot happening behind the scenes. Um, and I'm sure you've been feeling that. This week, the energy is all about smooth, going with the flow, finding the fun and keeping lighthearted. That was the invitation that was coming forward. But today there is this sense of pausing to reflect on the path that you're choosing for your life. If you're on your spiritual path, which I know you all are here, what is the path that you're choosing? Do you feel that you're still riding out the path of duality, focusing on the good, bad, the light and the dark. Does that still exist within you, within your mindset, within your world, within your conversations? Do you feel you've alighted from that and are choosing more of a, a fifth dimensional reality? Or are you not choosing to define any labels and identifications? That is the invitation that's coming forward to us, friends, because when we identify reality as 3D, 4D, 5D, 12D, all the Ds, we're still in a matrix experience. We're still in a matrix experience. Consciousness is still a matrix experience. Consciousness contains awareness pure awareness of when we separated from God's source, we didn't have a body, we didn't have a mind, we didn't have a soul, we didn't have a spirit. We were pure awareness, pure awareness, pure creation energy. And as we began to gather momentum and will to shape and form, and that first life we were given a soul, and every life that we've had, that soul, like a computer, has held onto the memory, <clears throat> the cache of all our lives. And so we can define consciousness as memory plus awareness. Memory plus awareness. So the ascension path that I want to talk about today is the path that circumvents all sense of defining reality and dimensions, that circumvents identifying yourself as consciousness and is the path that invites you to just be awareness, devoid of memory, devoid of underlying dynamics that have been holding you back. How do you do that? That's the question. You do that by each and every day unbecoming, unbecoming the ego, unbecoming the identifications, unbecoming wherever duality is existing in your life. And what helps is coming out in nature. Nature provides an ascension pathway that my ascension guide calls the earthly heavenly matrix. It's still an experience. It still has consciousness within it. Of course, we're, in, we're still in the construct, this human construct, this hologrammatic universe, it's still going to exist. But we experience it and we see it but we're not off it, we circumvent it, just like nature. Nature is growing and ascending 
<clears throat> and awakening and developing ever, ever more as she is herself unbecoming, unbecoming what humanity is doing on, in and around her. And my guide shares that I'm hoping this isn't true. I'm hoping it's going to change because we're in a seven year ascension cycle. We've got round about five and a half years of that left. That began winter solstice 2019 that you've heard me talk about before. So for the rest of this five and a half years, my Ascension Guide shares that 98% 98, 98 of humanity will begin to check out. Will begin to check out of this human experience, human experiment, because humanity, we're, we're on a mother planet. This is a seed planet. This was an experiment. We've known this. The, Atlant the Atlantis was an experiment. They were all experiments. But we're choosing to awaken and unbecome all that we are. And as part of that, because so many are not ready for that, they're still living out duality. They're still attached to uh, defining this and that as dimensions and everything. And so many spiritual teachers I've seen there's, they've bought into what the media has been sharing the last year and, a, year and a bit. You know what I'm talking about. They've bought into that. They've fallen for it. And we might think that these people are awake. And yes, there is many people that are awake, that are aware that there's something more than this physical life, but it's not enough. They're not changing the underlying, underlying dynamics of what they need to change or where they need to learn, change and grow. They're still buying into a lot of the, the duality. And so my guide shares that 98% of humanity will begin to check out. And that will be a steady process over the next five and a half years. It's not going to be a cataclysmic event or anything. And it's certainly nothing fearful. Because what's going to happen is their, their consciousness, because they still identify as consciousness, will withdraw from the physical experience. They'll align back to their Christed self, to their crystalline self, and they will continue their experience. Whereas those, the 2%, hopefully more, because I'm ever hopeful, will continue to seed Ed, uh, Eden on Earth. Eden, a new Eden. Nothing to do with religion here, but a new Earth will be born on the planet. And perhaps it will be more challenging to be here, to be aware, that we're not that we're not really um, consciousness anymore. We're not tied to anything. We're not tied to duality. We've circumvented the matrix. Yet we're still here to work in unison with Mother Earth to create a new Eden. It's probably going to be more challenging for us staying, which is probably going to be a lot of you here, um, uh, to create that and to continue because we literally will be creating a brand new world. But that's what Gaia is choosing. You know this, I'm sure, in your heart. She is evolving. She's growing every moment. We only have to come out outside in nature and literally take time to unplug. Unplug from the drama. Unplug from the media. Unplug from the press. Unplug from everything that's going on. Unplug from the own inner dramas that's coming up. Start to resolve the memory within you. Start to pull yourself out of memory, out of the past, out of the future. Come more into being present. Connect with the earth, the nature spirits, Gaia. Because they all have a neutral perspective. They're not classing something as 5D, 4D, 12D. <laughs> and anytime I speak about the unicorns and the unicorn healing class, we'll talk about, okay, these unicorns have an anchored level of dimension at this level but that's only for our mind to hold on to and to understand in truth angels unicorns they do not separate um they do not class uh, consciousness as this that and the other they just are so many dogs coming to say hello <laughs> um and so the invitation that's coming forward all this information this Time to self-reflect today is the invitation. What path are you on? Do you feel like there's still growth and change and learning in 3D? I hate to use that term, but that duality path. 
And that's okay, there's no judgment here because there's learning with everything. And we're all source and we're all returning to source at the, at the end of the day anyway. Are you on that path? Are you more into the new age, fifth dimensional path? Which remember, still has a lot of ego. There's still a lot of ego, spiritual ego attached to that path. And that's fine if you want to explore that world. Um, that's the world of entertainment, spiritual entertainment. Or are you here to be, to really create spiritual sovereignty for yourself and what that means is detaching from ego, detaching from labels, detaching from the underlying dynamics um, that are shown up in your life, whatever that is, relationship wise, social wise, maybe you're identified as a mother and, and that's fine, I understand that, I'm a mother too, but I don't let myself be defined by my kids, so there's a difference there. I'm still on my own path of ascension as they are and I respect them. I'm not letting them define me. And this is the path of unbecoming, not letting anything define you. Another person, kids, your work, your bank balance, unbecoming is the path of circumve circumventing all matrix experiences to become the 2%, hopefully more, which is a more indigenous path, more earth co-creative, walking and being in partnership with the earth. Um, how do you know if you are more part of the duality or the 5D world? No doubt you've been experiencing brain fog, a loss of passion, feeling like you don't want to live in this world anymore, um, apathy, fatigue, these are all signs that a part of your consciousness is beginning to check out. And this is not doom and gloom, friends, it just means that this particular planet, and there's many, many different planets, many, many different matrix experiences, is not for you anymore, and that's fine. If you're experiencing that, and you still want to be here, you still want to live here, and ascend, and grow, and help, uh, Gaia, re-engage with your passion. Re-engage with a passion. Find out who you truly are, why you're here, what is your purpose, how can you contribute. Re-engage with the passion that is not attached to kids, not attached to a lover, not attached to anything else. Um, something that is within you, whatever it is. Um, you're a writer, you're a speaker, you're here to create change. Environmentalism is your passion, whatever it is. Turn up that in your life. Turn down hype and drama. Um, and continue to awake. Continue to awake. Sometimes spirituality, it's like we think, oh yes, people are gonna awake and that's it. No, it's a continual process. We have to keep waking up to our own bullshit, our own stories, our own ego and uh, and continue, that is the path. And then when we're ready, unbecome, unbecome all of that so that we can return to just being pure awareness. That which we are and were when we first began to delineate from source to have this physical experience. I hope that's been of insight of, uh, for you friends. If it is, please share it on your page, this video. Send in so much love. And if you want me to go into this a little bit more, please leave a comment and I'll bring that to the table for the next video. So much love.